All right, this week we're going to continue working with Instagram and we're going to talk about using hashtags, which is a great way to pull in more customers because if you use um, good hashtags that um, reach out beyond what your business is, you can pull people in because they're looking for specific hashtags to find the content they're researching. So, um, they might click on something and it might lead to you. It doesn't always work as much now because there's so many people on Instagram and you will find that a lot of large companies actually don't use hashtags or use very few, maybe their own name or something. So let's take a look at this assignment and um, talk about what you need to do. So um, I have a little lecture on using hashtags on Instagram and um, what I want you to do, and be sure to write complete paragraphs, at least five. Actually, more than that will be better. Because I want you to do some research for this. And I want you to look in the area that your business is in so you can get a feel for how the hashtags are used in that business area. And you want to choose a variety of businesses, some big, some small, and some national, some local, so you get a feel that how hashtags work overall. Again, when you look at really big companies, often they only will use a hashtag with their name in it, and that's all they need because people already know them. They're already big. People know their name. But when you're smaller, you might want to, you know, like, um, Put in a post that, you know, if you have a donut store, you know, whatever, you might put in donuts as a hashtag and then something related to that and then use a hashtag that has your name in it and then something local because people want to know. I know sometimes I see something and I think, oh, that sounds good. And then it's like, where are they? Oh, they're clear on the other side of the United States. I'm never going to go there. So you need to use a variety of hashtags so you can reach that market. So this is a good way to do some research into that and see how they work and how they pull people in. Um, when you do add a hashtag to your content, it comes up with how many people or how often this hashtag is used. And that's kind of good. You want some, so you're in a big pool of people, but you want some that you're in a smaller one. And as your business grows, this is why you need to use your own company name because the more you use it, the more it comes up, the more expand. And as you use it, you'll say, oh, this has been used, you know, hundreds of times now because I've used it often. And it, again, it expands where it, it falls in the, the feed out there. It helps you get your name known. So um, this is the assignment. Um, I want you to answer some of these details or just write it up, you know, see how um, check out how you see the hashtags, see how the companies work and, you know, pull the pieces together and how, how or what they're doing. Could it, it improve your own use of Instagram, you know, and um, you can use, there's several ways to add in hashtags, but we'll talk about more of that um, at the second part of this week. So I hope you enjoy doing this research and learning something that can help your business expand.